Scientists have traditionally used cancer cell lines to study animal and human biology in the lab. This has been the mainstay of experimental research for decades. However, uh, these cell lines have limitations. They don't mimic the full complexity of an organ or tissue uh, and a three-dimensional structure. Organoid technology has changed all that. Organoids are essentially mini tissues in a petri dish. They are much smaller than we think of an organ to typically be. In fact, intestinal organoids are about one to two millimeters across. The whole field took off when uh, researchers in Hans Klaver's lab at the Hubrecht Institute in the Netherlands identified where the stem cells were in the gut. And by taking those isolated stem cells or small pieces of intestinal tissue uh, and the right growth factors, they could grow mini intestines in the lab. Every organ has its own stem cell, and by growing these with the right factors, you can make tissues from every organ in the body. To grow intestinal organoids, you need to mix the small pieces of tissue or the isolated stem cells in a matrix called matrigel, to which the cells adhere and use specific growth factors to enable them to grow into mini intestines. Here is an image of an organoid from our lab. It's about one millimeter across. Some organoids, however, can grow to be larger. Stem cells from one type of organ can only be grown into that organ. But if other types of stem cells, such as embryonic cells or induced pluripotent stem cells are used, you can, in principle, generate all the tissues in the body. We at Wageningen University are doing this for animals. In Animal Sciences Complex Cell Systems program, which is part of the next level animal science theme, we are generating different organs from animals to study their biology. We are using organoids to study infectious diseases of animals and test new therapies. This will help reduce the uh, amount of antibiotics and also the spread of antibiotic resistance. Intestinal organoids are being used to study nutrient transport, also microbe and dietary factors that support a healthy gut, this will increase the resilience of animals to stress and infection and support animal welfare. One of the other important benefits of organoid research is that they provide alternatives for the use of animals in research and in the future I think this will have a big impact on animal health.